Good morning, good morning to all of you. Good morning, good morning. Come on in the room, come in the room. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in this day. Good morning to all of you. Come in the room, come in the room. The Lord is great. He is greatly to be praised. He's greatly to be honored and adored. Good morning to all of you. Come on in the room, come in the room. It is time for us to give the Lord our first and our best praise. It's time for us to magnify him for he is great. He is powerful. He is mighty. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The Lord is great. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. As you are coming in the room, glory to God. I am going to go before the Lord in prayer. And then I'm going to get right into what the Lord has for us on this morning. Father God, I just bless your name. I praise you, God, for who you are. I bless you, O Lord God, for you are Lord of Lords and you are King of Kings, God. You are the great I am, O God. Lord, I bless you, Lord, because there is nobody like you nowhere in all the earth. Lord, and for that, I give your name praise, God. I honor you, O God. I glorify you, Lord God, for you, Lord, are the reason that we live and move and have our being, O Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you are the answer, God, to all of our prayers, Lord God. Anytime there is an issue, God, a problem, Lord God, a situation that we go through, God, you are the one, God, who comes to our rescue and to our aid. We thank you, Lord God, for continuing to bless us, Lord God, and heal us, God, all the more in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, for what you continue to do in our lives, and God, how you shield us from the hand of the enemy, God. I thank you, Lord God, for continuing to bless us, God, in a mighty way. And Lord God, I thank you right now, God, for moving the enemy out of our way. Lord God, thank you for bringing our families together in the mighty name of Jesus, for how you reconcile our lives, oh God. I thank you for that in a mighty way, Lord God, and Lord, for how you're going to take this word, Lord God. God, and allow it to be engrafted to our hearts, oh God, that we might be changed. Thank you, Lord God, for taking this word, Lord God, and allowing it, God, to penetrate our spirits, oh God, that we will not be the same, Lord God, when we leave this broadcast. And not only that, Lord God, I thank you for allowing us to share this word with somebody else, that their lives might be changed and they might be healed, delivered, oh God, and that they might be set free in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we bless you for all that you're going to do, God, in the next few minutes of time. For we know, God, this word, God, shall be seared to our hearts, oh God, and this word, shall move us. This word shall make us new. This word shall create, God, something in us, Lord, that we didn't have before. This word, God, shall increase our faith in the mighty name of Jesus. This word, God, shall lift us up out of our pits of despair. This word, God, yes, God, shall do illuminate on our path in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for this word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And yes, yes, good morning to all of you. Good morning, Sister Vanessa. Yes, we shall pray for your daughter and for your granddaughter. Yes, suffering from COVID. COVID this morning. My God, I pray for them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I ask you to touch Sister Vanessa's daughter and her granddaughter that is suffering right now from COVID. Lord, I pray that there will be God, first of all, that God, you will heal their bodies, oh God. God, remove God, any uh, instances, God, of inflammation of their lungs, oh God. And I pray right God, that you clear it up in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. God, let them not to have any lasting effects from a COVID. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you will help them, God, to guess, God, be able to breathe clearly, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we bless you and we pray. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning to you, Sister Mary, Sister Angela, all the way from Uganda. Good morning to you, Sister Yolanda, Sister Karen. So good to see you all. Sister Linda, good morning to you, Sister Louise, Sister Terry. So good to see all of you this morning. It's good to see you all this morning. Glory to God. God bless all of you that are joining this morning meditation. This morning, I am talking about no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And it's no wonder that it didn't prosper. That thing did not prevail. Good morning to you, Sister Tanika. Sister Mary, good morning to you. Sister Rita, good morning. That weapon did not prevail against you. And that's a reason for that. Good morning to you, Sister Nimby. Good morning to you, Sister Vanessa. Yes, that's a reason that that weapon did not prevail against you. Lady Lucretia, so good to see you this morning. Glory to God. The Lord gives us various answers in the Bible. Yes, while that weapon will not perform, will not prevail, will not prosper against the people of God. My God, because we love him, we know him. As a matter of fact, listen, God has his hand on you. There is a reason, my God, that the weapon that was forming, it is forming right now. Glory to God. He has his hand on on you. I know it, my God, I'm telling you, we've been in some situations, some situations that have been going on, glory to God, and I'm telling you, I've been in some personal battles myself, but I want you to know, my God, even though the enemy tries to come in and kill and steal, my God, and to destroy, I thank God, yes, that he has his hand on me. He has his hand on my family. He has his hand on my children, my 
son. He has his hand on him. And that weapon, my God, that tried to form, my God, to destroy him, to kill him, to take his very life. My God, I thank you that that weapon did not prosper. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because my God, the Lord has his hand on us. God has promised us, my God, that he will protect us. He's promised us, my God, in his word that he will heal us. He promised us in his word, Elder Gail, my God, that he will keep the enemy from destroying us. He promised that to us, my God, because he came to bring us life. He didn't come to bring us death. Glory to God. I'm looking at the word of God. Let me get to it because I'm excited about this word because I know, my God, that even though the enemy wants to destroy us, even though he wants to take us out of here, Sister Donna, come on, the Lord said that we will not be destroyed, that that weapon that is formed, my God, will not prosper. I'm looking, my God, at Isaiah chapter 54, verse number 17, Sister Lula, and I want us to keep this thing in our spirit, for you know this is a familiar passage of scripture, my God, but it isn't until it hits home, my God, that it really gets, my God, down in our spirit, for the Bible says in Isaiah 54 and 17, my God, that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper in every tongue that rises against thee in judgment, thou shall condemn. The Bible says this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is, my God, of me, saith the Lord. Glory to God. I want you to know that all of us are involved. Sister Rita, we're involved in some battles. We're, in, we're involved in some fights. But I want you to know this morning that the fight is fixed because God has predestined us, listen, to win. Oh, I, I heard my husband say it the other day. When we fight, we win. But even though the devil tries to put tricks and traps in our way, he tries to set traps in front of us. He puts mirages in front of us. He uses anything that he can. Glory to God to get us off focus, uses anything that he can to get us off by ourselves so he can just intimidate us. Well, what we got to do is we got to remember that we got to stay steadfast in the work of the Lord, my God, that we got to keep holding on to Jesus' unchanging hand. Listen, we got to recognize that in 2 Timothy, it tells us we don't have the, the spirit of fear, but power and of love and a sound mind. We've got to recognize, my God, that God is all that we need to do what it is that God wants us to do. We got to hold on, my God, and, and know, my God, that, Lord, he's fighting the battles, glory to God, that we have. We don't have to fear, my God. When I look up before, my God, verse number 17 in that passage of scripture. I start at verse number 11. It says, O afflicted city, glory to God, lashed by storms and not comforted. It says, I will build you with stones of turquoise, your foundations with sapphires, and I will make your battlements of rubies. I hear him saying, listen, you, you've been afflicted. You've been lashed. You've not been able to be comforted. He said, but I'm going to build you up again. 13 just simply says, all your sons will be taught by the Lord. And my God, and your great will be the, your children's peace. My God, our children need some peace. I hear the Lord making some promises here in Isaiah chapter 54. Yes, he said in verse number 13 that our children will have peace, Sister Rebecca. Our children have, are not at peace. They're, they're afraid, my God. They're running for their lives, glory to God. The Bible says in number 14, it says, In righteousness you will be established. It says, Tyranny will be far from you, and you will have nothing to fear. Glory to God. The Lord here, Sister Lula, is instructing us in these promises that he's given to us. He says, You're not going to have anything to fear. Terror will be far removed from you. It, will not, it won't come near you, glory to God. I wonder if we've ever read the verses, the passages of Scripture before, verse number 17. The Bible says in 15, if anyone does attack you, it will not be my doing. He says, anyone, whoever attacks you will surrender to you. He says, see, it is I who created the blacksmith and who fans the coals in the, in the flames and forges a weapon fit for its work and it is I who created the destroyer to work havoc and then he gets to verse 17 after he talks about oh my god how we've been afflicted how he talks about we've been in battle but then he talks about how he's going to build us up again he talks about how we're not going to have to fear and he talks glory to God sister Joanne he talks about how he's going to deliver us he talks about my god how if people attack us my God, they're going to be, they're going to have to surrender to us. Glory to God. And then in their verse number 17, Sister Robin, he says, there's no weapon that's going to be forming against you that's going to prevail. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
He says, every tongue that rises against you, he says, I'm going to refute that tongue. And he said, you can take this to the bank. He said, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. He said, their vindication is from me, declares the Lord. So the Lord is giving us this promise, my God. He's, 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 he's promising us this. He says, I know you're experiencing, my God, some tough times. Listen, I experienced some tough times on yesterday. He says, I know you're experiencing something rough. But the Levite, he says, I know he's, you're experiencing something, my God. He says, and I understand your hurt. I understand your pain. He says, listen, I'm touched by that. I, I'm touched by your infirmity. So he begins to say, listen, I'm going to turn that situation around for your good. I, oh, my God. I hear Fred Hammond said late in the midnight hour, he's saying that song. He says, God's going to turn it around. I hear Paul and Silas saying, my God, when I, when I prayed and when I sang, he said, God turned that situation around for me in the midnight hour. Glory to God. I hear my God, Isaiah talking about it in chapter 54, verse Verses 11 through 14, he says, God's going to turn that situation around for you. He said, I know it's been rough. I know my God has been tough for you. But he said, listen, I know I'm getting ready to turn this around for you. He said, listen, even though it seemed like the enemies had you. My God, he said, you're going to have control over your enemies. Somebody ought to shout glory to God. He's, you're going to have control, my God, over your enemies. He talks about, my God, the blacksmith. And what does the blacksmith do? The blacksmith makes things. He says, he says, he says, I'm the one who makes the weapons. He says, I'm the one who's in control of this fight. Glory to God. He says, I'm the one, my God. He said, hey, glory to God. The fight is fixed. He said, that's why you got to be assured that the weapon that is forming against you, glory to God, it is not going to prevail against you. It is not going to prosper. Glory to God. You got to know, my God, that you're going to make it through whatever it is. Come on, that it seems like you're going through. You're going to make it through, my God, and you're going to make it through in peace. And my God, you're going to make it through, my God, in victory. Why is that? Because God, my God, is all powerful. My God, as a matter of fact, glory to God, God has already won, my God, the battle. God has already, my God, taken care of your enemies. Glory to God. He's already, yeah, I know, my God, in this passage of scripture, he's talking about how he's going to restore Israel. He's talking about glory. Yeah, you're going to make it, Sister Regina. He's talking about how he's going to restore Israel and return them to a place of peace and prosperity. How he's going to return them back, my God, to where they are protected, my God. And what he's saying here is that he is the God, my God, of our salvation. And we don't have to be able, to, we don't have to be afraid. And my God, we can trust him, my God. But listen, today, I want to say this morning to you that the weapon is forming. My God, we have been attacked on every side. My God, Satan is attacking our children. He's attacking our health. He's attacking our reputations. He's attacking our finances. He's attacking our wealth. He's attacking everything that is about us. But I want you to know this morning that God is saying that he's promising us. He's making this promise that it will not destroy us. It won't destroy you. He's saying, what you, you just got to be able to go through it. Somebody said it already. You're going to make it through this. Yes. He, he says, he says just, you're going to, your enemies, they're going to bow down to you. Yeah, yeah. He said, you're going to, he said, you may have to suffer a little bit, but don't worry. That's just, that's just a light affliction. And it's not going to last my God forever. Yeah, he's, he's talking about, my God, uh, the Israel, how Israel, how he's going to restore them. Because you will not be, be destroyed. Whatever weapon, whatever weapon is being raised against you, whatever weapon is, is being formed against you, whatever thing that the enemy is trying to take out on you, glory to God, whatever evil is coming up against you. I want you to know that the Lord is speaking this morning and he's saying it's not going to prosper. That thing is not going, listen, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And there's a reason why. There's a reason that it's not going to work. Glory to God. One of the reasons why we understand that the, that weapon that the enemy has formed against you, Brother Levi, that is not going to work, is that God is far more powerful than the enemy. I want you to know that this morning, that God already made that promise a long time ago. He was going to protect his bride. He was going to protect, my God, Israel. And even though we know, my God, that the world seems like it's going topsy-turvy. It seems like, oh, my God, children, these young people, they don't, they don't know what's going on. They just seem like they have lost their ever-loving mind. 
But we got to know, my God, that this is a fight that we got to fight every single day. And we're facing the enemy every single day. The enemy who wants to, my God, kill and steal and to destroy. But I just thank God for John 10.10 10, that he said to us that, that he came, even though the enemy came to do all of that. Even though the enemy came, my God, to take us out. Even though the enemy came to, to ruin our lives and kill us and destroy and take things from us. And say, oh, my God. He, he said, I came. He said, I'm, he said, I'm more powerful than that. I'm more powerful than anything that the enemy would try to do in your life. He said, I'm more powerful, my God, than, than what the enemy is coming to, to take over. I mean, he, said, I, he said, my power and my presence it covers even the enemy. He says, and, he says, and you can take cover with me. You, you can take refuge in me. My God, he says, I'm, I'm way more powerful than that. Uh, glory to God. I'm, I'm more powerful than my God, what the enemy is trying to do in your life. I'm, I'm more powerful, my God, than any trap he's trying to set. I'm, I'm in, more powerful than any weapon, my God, he's trying to form, my God. He, he says, I, I'm more powerful than that, glory to God. He said, he said, you can know that I'm more powerful than that, glory to God, when you look in the word of God. Hallelujah. He says, he says, I'm, I'm, he says, I'm far more, far more powerful than that. He says in Psalm 91 and when one, the Bible says, whoever you, who they, they that dwell in the shelter of the most high God will abide under the shadow of the almighty God. Listen, if we can uh, just abide under the shadow of the almighty God, we can recognize how powerful God is. Glory to God. Oh dear. We know that, listen, when Daniel was in the lion's den, we know my God, that God was powerful in there. Oh, when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, my God, went into the fiery furnace, we know, my God, that God was powerful with them in there. He's much more powerful than any weapon, my God. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is trying to form against you. We recognize that he's more powerful. And not only that, we talked about the word of God. You use the word. Use the word because the word will cover you. No fiery dart in hell can penetrate the word of God over your life. We recognize that, that God wants to bless you. He wants to protect you. He wants, listen, and you got to take God at his word. Whatever God said about it, whatever his word said, you got to believe that and take God at his word. The weapon is not going to prosper because the word said that it won't. Oh, glory to God. Oh my God, if the word said you're victorious, you're victorious. If the word, my God, said you are more, more than an overcomer, you are more than an overcomer. If the word said that you are a conqueror, you are a conqueror. If the word said that God is with you, he is with you. You got to know, my God, as the word come on, covers you, the Holy Spirit lives within you. You got to know, my God, that, oh, the, 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 the shield of faith that you, that you hold up. When the devil tries to throw those fiery darts at you, it's the shield of faith, my God, that protects you, my God, from every fiery dart that the enemy tries to throw at you. Even under pressure, my God, you can stand, oh, stand there for the Bible says, when you put on the whole armor of God, you've got everything that you need for protection. Everything that you need. God's word. So when you up against the enemy, you stay, stay steadfast on the word of God and whatever the promises of God are. You look at that instead of looking at the situation, looking at things around you. The Bible tells us in James, you resist the devil. He will flee from you. Let the word of God. Don't don't keep your eye on the situation, but keep your eyes on the one who is able to heal. Keep your eye on the one who is able to deliver you. Keep your eyes, my God, on the word of God. Declare the word. Speak the word, my God, and allow the word, my God, to work for you. The Bible says that we got to meditate on the word day and night, that we will be established and stable in the things of God, and that whatever we do, we will prosper in that. We will move forward in that. We will grow in that. My God, all the, all the day long, every day, Helps to build our relationship with God when we meditate on the word in God. The Bible tells us, my God, that we are sealed. My God, we are protected. We are preserved by God. Oh, well, that's why I know that that weapon that's formed against you is not going to prosper. If you trust God, if you trust in him, my God, you are sealed in God. You are sealed in the Holy Spirit. That means, my God, we are a possession of his. My God, we are, the Bible says we've been bought with a price. Glory to God. Y'all believe that? 
We have been bought with a price. My God. Oh, listen, John 6 and 27 says we have the seal of approval. It says do not work for, for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him, God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Did y'all know that? We have been given the seal of approval by God. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The seal of approval. Glory to God. We've been sealed. That's why I know, my God, that, oh, no, no, that weapon that's formed, it is not going to prosper against you. No, no, it won't. <laughs> it will not prosper against you. Because we belong to God. We belong to him. Glory to God. No, 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 no devil in hell can take you out of his hands. Glory to God. We belong to God. You belong to God. My God, my God. The enemy may try to destroy us. He may try to harm us. But I want you to know that you are saved in Christ Jesus. The fight is fixed, people of God. We, with God's help, we have to win. <laughs> the Bible says, listen, is God before us? Who can be against us? If he is for us, who can be against us? Glory to God. The fight is fixed. Oh my God, the fight is fixed. When Jesus is on our side, we cannot lose. That, that means that the devil, the devil, he, listen, when he comes up against you, you got to already know he is going to lose. Your victory is guaranteed. It may not be in the first round. Listen, if you're fighting in the battle, if you fight like a boxing ring, you may not win the first round. You may not win the second round. But you got to know the devil, he's going to lose. The devil is going to lose. You, you, may, you may sustain a, a, a blow or a, a two or three. But I want you to know the Bible says that you will win. Luke 10, 19 simply says this. Since Jesus said, behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You've got power, people of God. And sometimes I don't think we understand how much power we have. We have power, my God, that nothing shall by any means hurt us. We think about the things that we go through. Glory to God. The, the scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse number 13 says, there has no temptation. We got power even over the temptation, my God, that the enemy might try to bring our way. The Bible says there's no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able, but will with that temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Even the things, my God, that the enemy brings our way, the old common things that he tries to make us go back to. The old addictions, my God, the old, my God, low self-esteem, the old feelings my God, of rejection, the old feelings of anger and malice and bitterness. Those old things, the old things that we may be tempted to do, the old sins that he might bring our way. The Bible says that we even have victory over those things because there is no weapon that is formed against us that is going to prosper. We will prevail over all things. My God. But the thing we have to really understand is there is somebody that is out to destroy us. Yeah. And the enemy has waged war against us. He's waged war against the people of God. But we got to know because we've got our weapons of our warfare. The Bible says they're not carnal, but they're mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. We've, we've got our ammunition. Oh, yeah. We've got our breastplate of righteousness. We've got our armor on. We've got our suit on. Come on, we've got the things, but, but sometimes the devil uses some stuff that we don't expect. He uses, my God, things that are, are difficult for us to understand and detect. He uses things that will throw us off track. He, he uses, my God, sometimes our children. He uses our family, Sister Lula. He uses past addictions. He, he uses, my God, sickness, come on, to, to bring us out. He, he uses come on, things to lure us away. He uses old friends. and He uses sometimes situations that might betray us, and he uses sometimes depression. He he uses, my God, a family loss. He uses stuff that happens. He uses things, my God, to lure us away. To Listen, sometimes it tricks us into believing that it's not him. 
but it is him. And sometimes he feels like he, if he can't stop us, he'll make us so powerless. He'll make us impotent. He'll make us so ineffective and so unproductive that we just won't do anything. Glory to God. He, he, he'll make you so, listen, if he doesn't kill you, if he doesn't destroy you, he'll make it so that you just sit down and won't do nothing. He'll, he'll put church hurt in your way. He'll, my God, he'll, he'll try to call, oh my God, he'll, he'll try, he'll try to cause you just to sit down. He, he'll cause you not to go to church. You know you have gifts and abilities and talents that God has given to you. You know that you're a man. You know you're a mighty evangelist. You know, my God, you're an exhorter. You know, my God, that you have the ability to lay hands on the sick and they will recover. But because you got hurt, he'll put that in your path. He'll, yeah, he'll, he'll just make you sit down and stop. But you can't let that happen. I want you to know, my God, that there is no weapon that's formed against you. That's going to prosper. Listen, it will not prevail. Glory to God. You know why? Because nothing that the enemy throws at you. Glory to God. Listen to the word of God. Will succeed if you are in God. If you're walking in the Lord. Mm -mm. It, it, it will not succeed. It will not succeed. I want you to know that God has got you. Glory to God. Keep your hand in God. You are safe in God. Anything the enemy tries to throw at you, come on, bombs, booby traps, whatever it is he's trying to throw at you, they can't harm you. You got to keep walking in the way that God has called for you to walk. The Bible says the steps of a good man, glory to God, they are ordered by the Lord. Yes, he'll use anything that he can, Sister Joanne, but, I, but what he didn't have in mind, what he didn't recognize was the Lord had all the power. The Lord has anything. Oh my God, the Lord can do anything that keep us perfectly safe. In him, my God, the Lord, my God, had it all. He Listen, the Lord, the Lord had the ending from the beginning. And the Lord knew the way to defeat the enemy, my God. And that was when God sent Jesus himself to go to the cross, that he would die for you and for me. Glory to God. He defeated death and hell right there on the cross. The enemy knew, listen, his, it, his time was up. He knew his time was up. We recognize that we can't ignore the problem. We can't ignore what it is. But we know, my God, that God sees it. God sees it all. And God saw it all from the very beginning. Because God saw it all from the very beginning. He handled it all from the very beginning. Glory to God. And even though, my God, it may seem big to us. It may seem like it's large. It may seem like it's huge. My God, no matter what the situation is. No matter what the problem is. My God, we all we got to do is trust God. Don't fear. Turn that thing over to him and watch God. My God, work that situation out on our behalf. We know, my God, that God's going to do it. We know the power of God is going to prevail. Glory to God. We know, my God, that God is going to work that situation out. Oh, my God, even though David, my God, was up against Goliath, he was a mighty giant. But my God, David knew, my God, that he had the weapons that he needed. And his weapon, my God, may have been those five shiny stones, but he went with God. And when he went with God, glory to God, he had the victory already. The victory victory was already his because the fight, my God, was already fixed. We got to recognize, my God, that it is time for us to be freed, my God, from these situations that the enemy are bringing our way. Even though we think they are big and there are problems and they're, my God, too much for us to bear. Yes, they are too much for us to bear. But what you got to know is the Lord is saying, you don't got to bear these situations alone. He's saying to you, cast those cares on him because he cares for you. And just because he cares for you, that's why you you got to know that no weapon, glory to God, that is formed against you, glory to God, is going to prosper. He says, my God, he's going to wipe those things away. My God, even though the enemy tries to kill, to steal, and to destroy, I thank God, glory to God, that we choose, my God, to go with God all the way. We choose to keep our hand in God's hand. We choose, my God, to resist the enemy's attacks. My God, that he will flee from us. We choose, my God, to listen to the word of God. We don't choose my God to hear the lies of the enemy but we choose my God yes to refute those lies my God to reverse the curse of the enemy to reverse it my God by putting on the belt of truth my God that we may be protected against the lies of the enemy we thank God this morning for the word of God that protects us my God yes my God from whatever shield and whatever 
dark, my God, that the enemy has thrown our way. I bless my God this morning. Glory to God that there is no weapon that is formed against you, my God, that's going to prosper. We thank God for this morning. Lord, Father, the, name, the Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you, oh God, and we protect God. We thank you for the protection that you've given us today, oh God. We declare, my God, your protection over the people of God this morning. Not only that, God, we declare, God, your grace, my God, and your mercy, God, over us this morning, God. We thank you, Lord God, that we stand, my God, on your promises this morning, oh God, that no weapon, God, that is formed against us shall prevail, my God. Whatever the attacks of the enemy, my God, whatever whatever the enemy has tried to do in our lives, oh God, we know, God, that the Bible says when we resist the enemy, he will flee from us. So thank you, my God, that the enemy is fleeing, my God. Satan no longer has any control over us. We will not, God, flee in fear, but we will stand, my God, in your word, God. We will stand, Lord God, as you, my God, are a hedge of protection over us and our families and our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord God, that you have given us, God, what we need to recognize the enemy. Not only to recognize the enemy, but to recognize the attacks of the enemy, oh God. So, Lord, we ask you right now that you renew, God, our commitment, God, to serve you. Renew our commitment, Lord God, to be committed to you. Renew our commitment, oh God, to stand on the word of God, that, Lord God, we will be able, God, God, to, to put out, God, to extinguish, God, every fiery dart of the wicked one that he tries to throw our way, oh Lord God, and that we will be able, God, to put on the whole armor of God, oh God, that we will be ready, God, to fight when it is time for us to fight, oh God, and that time, my God, is every day. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that there is no fear in us, oh God, but Lord, we have overcome fear, God, with faith in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, so help us, Lord God, to have the power that we need. Lord God, that we might be protected, God, from the works of darkness, oh God. Yes, God, that we may overcome everything that the enemy has tried to do. I thank you, Lord God, that the weapons, they will not prevail. I thank you, Lord God, that my God, that you have blessed us, God. You have saved us, God. You have healed us, God. You have forgiven us, oh God. You have renewed our strength, oh God, that we may, God, oh glory to God, we, God, may not, God, succumb to the wiles of the enemy, God. We will not succumb to the tricks of the devil, oh God, that we are able, my God, yes, God, with the word of God to tear down every stronghold. We thank you, Lord God, yes, God, that with the word, oh God, that we are able, God, my God, to do what you call for us to do for this time and for this season in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Now, God, we come against every wicked thing that the enemy is trying to do, God, in the lives of our children. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come against those spirits, my God, that they are battling right now in their minds, God, that spirit of bitterness. We come against it. The spirit of anger, the spirit, my God, of drug addiction, the spirit, my God, of greed, my God, we come against, my God, the spirit, my God, of suicide right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that you are blessing us, oh God, and we come, oh my God, we lose, God, the spirit of peace, and my God, we lose, my God, the spirit of love and joy. God, we lose it, my God, over these young people now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, cover our relationships, cover, my God, our, my God. God, our communities, cover, my God, our families and cover our homes, oh God, cover, my God, these schools, my God, with the precious blood of Jesus, oh God, my God, Lord God, that the weapons that the enemy are throwing, my God, they shall not prosper even in the schools, my God, we thank you, Lord God, that you will cover the minds and the thoughts of the children, oh God, that they, my God, will think thoughts, God, of positive, God, not negative, God, that, my God, that they will, God, be reminded that they are children of God, my God, children, my God, of those who are saved, God, that you will set them free in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. We bless you, God, and we thank you, God, for what you're going to do, my God. Oh my God, in the lives of the people, of oh God, that we are praying for right now, for we know, God, that when we come together, God, in unity, touching and agreeing on anything, Lord God, you said that we can have whatever we ask. Lord God, and we believe it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. So now, God, I pray for those that are sick among us, oh God. I pray to heal their bodies, oh God. Let them know, God, that even that weapon of illness shall not prosper against them, oh God, that we put the word to it, oh God, for the Bible says that by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed, oh God, and so we know, God, that even we are healed through sin, sickness, oh God, and we are healed, my God, oh God, through physical ailments, oh God, we thank you, Lord God, and we pray right now, God, for Sister Linda's sister-in-law, oh God, we thank you, oh God, my God, that you will bless her, God, heal her, God, all the more in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray now, God, for the bereaved families, oh God, touch their hearts and their minds, God, let 
them know, God, unless, yes, God, that you, God, give them peace and you comfort them now in their time, God, of uh, discouragement, their time of bereavement, oh, God, lift them up from their pits of despair, Lord God. We bless your name, God, for what you're doing, God, and what you should continue to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and we bless you for it. And amen and amen, people of God. Yes, we need you to know this morning. That's me in the spirit of God. We need you to know this morning that the weapon that is forming, it will not prevail against you. My God, it will not prosper. You continue to stay steadfast in the word of God and let my God and bless God for his word, for his word. My God shall so set you free. His word shall so save you. His word, my God. Yes, his word, my God, should allow you to know that you are a conqueror. Yes, and you are an overcomer in him. And his word shall let you know that you are victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, I love you all so much with the love of Jesus. Uh, listen, I want to prepare you all. I am doing, my God, I am, glory to God, doing a three-day conference. Ah, glory to God. A three-day conference at the end of the week that is on Friday, it is on Saturday, and it is on Sunday. And I'm doing that three-day conference here. Um, glory to God. I know you all maybe have seen my Facebook page, but it is an online conference, and I'm believing that I will be able to have a link for you all sometime soon that you will be able to jump on that three-day conference with me. And so that will be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'll be doing an online conference in Ghana. So praise the Lord for uh, glory. Global, global ministry in Ghana. I'll be doing that three-day conference. I want you all to jump on that uh, line with me for on Friday. That will be uh, November the third, uh, 12th. Um, I will not be on at 6 a.m., but I will be on at 7 a.m. That will be November 12th at 7 a.m. I will be on for the Global Believers Reality Network and for the Exponential Reality Hour for uh, 30 minutes on November the 12th at 7 a.m. So I will uh, be giving you all that link as soon as I have it. I'm thankful to Evangelist Simon and San who are have invited me for this three-day online conference. November 12th, 13th, and 14th will be at 7 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. If you are in the country of Ghana, it will be 11 a.m. Ghana time. So I want to invite you all to that wonderful um three-day online conference. We are talking about who we are in Christ. I want everybody to know who we are and how powerful you are. My God, in that way, we know that the enemy will not be whipping all up over our heads, but we know that we have the power over him. I love you all so much with the love of Jesus. You have a wonderful day. You go in peace.